And I will take my words back. We actually do have a dash for the pro dwarfs as well. So a 10 lap dash coming up for the pros as they will get set to roll out onto the back straightaway for their dash. Then it will be intermission time here at Cotton Bowl Speedway. 10 cars coming up here in this pro dash. All right, in the shoot, here comes the dash for the pros. Your starting lineup on the pole, car number 58. Out of Julesburg, Colorado, it's Cole McEwen on the outside. Out of Danbury, Dustin Root in the 41T. Row two on the inside, out of Bernie. Brandon Spreen in the 88. On the outside, out of Carrollton, the 27P of Jeffrey Patterson. Row three inside, out of Salado. Dylan Spreen on the outside, the 15 out of Bernie is Ty Paxson. Row four on the inside. Coy Moore out of Leander, 22C on the outside in the 121. Out of Burleson, it's Chance Hull. Row four, five on the inside. Tip Holcomb out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. And on the outside, out of Greeley, Colorado, it's Keith Welch. We are locked and loaded, ready to go. The Pro Dash coming up. Ten laps of action right here. And this is going to be fast. It looks like we got one stopped here on the front stretch. It is the 88R of Keith Welch. So Welch. Welch comes to a stop here on the front stretch. So we actually have fluid in turn four. We've got the stopped car of Keith Welch. So there's a car dropping fluid out on the racetrack, and it may just be the 88R there of Welch. And actually the call... Possibly from the racetrack is Tiff Holcomb out of Colorado Springs in the 36, maybe dropping fluid. You can see him coming to the attention right there of race officials right here down on the apron. So we've got fluid on the racetrack. You can look over in turn three right there where you have that sport utility vehicle. You can watch that trail right there around the corner. So we've got some wet stuff on the racetrack and the 36 of Holcomb coming to the attention right here of race officials. And it looks like the word is that is apparently water. So it's already taken itself into the racetrack. So it looks like we will just run them through that a couple of extra times and then we'll set them a sail here in your pro dash. So call from the track, it looks like uh, the 36 car did not have the fuel cap up on the fuel cell. That has been replaced as that fuel evaporating itself into the racetrack. So that's why we are giving them a couple of extra laps right there to let that evaporate itself up. And we are set to go. Lights are out around the racetrack here for the pros. 10 laps and we're ready to roll. 10 cars, 10 laps, out of turn number four, green flag in the air. We are off and racing at Cotton Bowl Speedway. Off they go into turn number one, McEwen. From the bottom of the racetrack in row number one, into corner number one. Winner last night, Dustin Rude out of Danbury. He has been the man to beat in Dwarf Car Racing Series of Texas Action. And here he goes down to the bottom. Three wide down into the corner, make it four wide behind him. That is the battle for the third spot. Out of turn four they come. It is Rude in the 41T, followed by the 58 car, hanging on to the second spot as they race their way into turn number one, now out of turn number two. Side by side, the battle up at the front of the pack. It's Rude hanging on, but the 58 car of McEwen is right there. Here's the driver out of Colorado going down to the bottom. They make their way out of turn number four. Rude up on the top side, a lot of momentum up on the top side, and Rude will hang on. Spreen rides in the third spot in the 88 car. 
followed by the 81 of Dylan Spreen. Onto the back straightaway we go. The Spreen sitting right there as they almost draw side by side. You got a three car battle happening behind them with the 27P right there on the inside of Patterson. The 15 of Paxson. Paxson going down to the bottom as they race out of turn number four. Patterson holding on, but here comes Paxson. Paxson trying to find the drive. He'll get back in line as everybody going to the top of the racetrack. Once again, it's a freight train up on the top of the speedway. Chance Hull rides there in that battle as well. Out of turn number four, here they come around. This is going to be lap number four. Four laps complete for Dustin Rood. The Spreen's running in third and fourth. Up on the top side, Patterson hanging on as they race down into the corner. Chance Hull and Ty Paxson, now they gather it up behind him. To the back straightaway we go. You watch Dustin Rood hanging on right there. He leads by about 12 car lengths. Here comes Hull going down to the bottom. Paxson chasing him down there as they make their way. Halfway home that time by. We are halfway home at the stripe. Five down and five to go. End of turn number one they go. Hull hanging on. Here's Paxson. Patterson up on the top side. Paxson down on the bottom of the racetrack. Patterson now Paxson will float to the top of the racetrack as they make their way around. Four to go at the line here in the dash for the pros. And it is the man who won it last night. 1.37 seconds ahead is Dustin Rude. Man, that battle is shaping up behind him. You got four cars that are really shaping themselves into a battle as you had the Spreens going side by side, but the Spreen party has been interrupted right here as in between them has come Chance Hull in the 121. Hull able to get ahead of the 88 car, and he'll now set his sights on the 81 car of Dylan Spreen. Down to the bottom is Hull. Out of turn number two, off we go. Hull will get back in line behind Dylan Spreen in the 81. That's about seven car lengths going down into the corner. Single file, here's Chance Hull going down to the bottom. Two sticks in the air for Dustin Rude, but the battle right now is for the third spot. Dylan Spreen hanging on, Chance Hull in the 121. Hull right down to the bottom of the racetrack. Can he make it stick? He'll float up to the top. Here's Dylan going back down to the bottom. The slider does not work, cannot hold on. Here's Spreen hanging on, Dylan Spreen in the 81. Here's Hull going back down to the bottom. White flag in the air one more time around for Dustin Rude. Look at this battle coming out of turn number four. The 81 of Dylan Spreen hanging on with Chance Hull right in his tracks. Here's Chance going back down to the racetrack once again. Oh, so close right there. Dylan able to hold on. We head to the back straightaway. Inches in between them. That is one car length in that battle. Checkered flags in the air. Wins it last night. Wins the dash. Dustin Rude in the 41T. Followed by the 58 of McEwen. Chance Hull at the line. Followed by Dylan Spreen and Ty Paxson. That is your top five in the Pro Dash here tonight at Cotton Bowl Speedway. Get ready, friends. The Pro feature tonight is going to be something to see. Can Chance Hull go back to back and win both nights? He wins the Dash after winning the feature race last night. That's going to be a good one. It's coming up later tonight. Your Pro Division main event.
all kinds of company as they stack up behind him. Out of corner number four, down the front straightaway we go once again, free and clear so far here in this race. That's Coy Moore down to the inside. My goodness, you watch him go three wide down into the corner. Moore down on the bottom, Spreen up on the top side as they race down into turn number three. Some single file, some double file, but up at the front it continues to be Dustin Root. Side by side battle as you watch right here, the battle for the third position. It's Dylan Budnick going down to the bottom. Cole McEwen going up to the top side. You got a Texan and a Colorado native. Onto the back straight away we go. It's gonna be Budnick free and clear up into the third spot. Behind them it's the 88 of Brandon Spreen. Dylan Spreen runs right behind him. That is how your top five shakes out here at the moment. Down at the bottom, the 22C. Now Ty Paxson. Paxson going up to the top side, way up rim riding around the top of the racetrack. Battle shaping up right here. Here's Budnick trying to get that spot back from McEwen, but McEwen hanging on and he'll work down at the bottom of the racetrack. This is lap number uh, 24 to go at the line, or 22 to go at the line this time by as they race into turn number one. It continues to be the 41T of Dustin Root hanging on as he is in cruise control here this evening. Chance Hole rides in the second spot, followed by McEwen in the 58, but Budnick is right there. Budnick goes up to the top side. It'll be McEwen hanging on out of turn number four. He will gather that car in and continue to hold the spot, but Dylan Budnick coming back at him. Budnick's going to go up to the top side. Budnick kind of stumbles going into the corner just a little bit. McEwen sails up the racetrack a bit, but Budnick gets a heads of steam off of turn number two, and he'll try to get to the back bumper. Budnick up to the top side. McEwen working down at the bottom. Cole McEwen doing a great job to keep that car down on the flat part of the racetrack. Has all the momentum, but here comes Budnick. Budnick takes a peek down on the bottom. He'll switch and go back up to the top. Budnick floats up to the top of the racetrack. McEwen out of turn number two. This is the hot spot on the racetrack right here as we have 10 laps complete. 20 laps remaining here in the pro division with the Dwarf Car Nationals tonight. The Central State Dwarf Car Race number three here at Cotton Bowl Speedway in Page, Texas. And the pros are dazzling as they race along. Coy Moore hanging on in the seventh spot, followed by Brent Mayfield, Ty Paxson, and Dylan Coyne. They round out the top ten side by side. Here is your battle. You've got the Spreens. You got Brandon in the 88. You got Dylan in the 81. But we go back to this massive battle for the second spot. Going toe to toe right here is McEwen in the 58 car, along with Budnick in the 25. McEwen sails it into the corner. Now to the back straight away we go. Budnick rides about two car lengths behind. The action happening behind him. Here are the Springs. You got Brandon up on the top side, Dylan on the bottom. Coy Moore rides behind them, followed by Mayfield. And then trailing them is Paxson. Caution flag. Caution flag on the racetrack. Caution flag with 17 laps remaining. 17 laps remaining. A nice start to the Pro Division here. As they are stringing this race out, you've got them three and four wide all around the speedway. But the one thing that is not changing is the man up at the front of the pack, the winner last night, and he is leading once again tonight out of Danbury. It is Dustin Rude. Eighteen laps remaining as we have twelve laps complete here in the pro division. Dustin Rude on the point in the 41T, followed by Chance Hull in the 121. Cole McEwen, car number 58. Dylan Budnick, Brandon Spreen, Dylan Spreen, Coy Moore, Brent Mayfield, Ty Paxson. The rest of the pack gathers in behind them as we get set to roll them around. Texas two-step restart coming up. We're showing them one this time by showing them one as they make their way by. Does anybody have anything for the 41T? He jettisoned out from that drop of the green flag, and he was leading that one. Tip Holcomb on the outside there of the 15 car, a Ty Paxson. 18 laps remaining, 12 down. To the back straightaway we go with Rude out on the point. Lights are out around the speedway, so we can go here at any point. $3,000 on the line here in the pros tonight. Down into the corner we go. Rude drags the field around. We are set to go. Rude's going to hit the gas right there. Green flag in the air. We're racing once again at Cotton Bowl Speedway. Up to the top goes Chance Hull. Now back in line, way to the top goes Brandon Spreen. Back straightaway action. Here we go. 
taken off by one car length that is Dustin Rude right behind him. But look at this gaggle of race cars behind him to the inside. Budnick makes a pass. McEwen coming back at him. He is right at his right elbow. Throwing a block right there as they make their way out of turn four. Budnick able to hold on to the spot. But now up to the outside, you've got the 88 of Brandon Spreen. They'll gather it back in line. McEwen now sitting right in the middle of that sandwich right there, a Spreen sandwich. And here's Dylan Spreen going down to the bottom. Brent Mayfield going to the top. Around goes the 81. Hard contact with the infield tractor tire in turn number three. And you got a mess behind him. Ryan Stoy involved. You've got the 88 car involved. They stack it up into the corner. That's Keith Welch in the 88 car sitting in the middle of the corner. But the hard contact there was the 81 as he goes down into the corner. Spreen loses the grip and big time contact. They're making their way down into the corner. So the caution flag waves here still with 17 laps remaining. Big time contact there with that tractor tire. And the tractor tire usually wins those battles. But Spreen able to get the 81 car rolling. We'll take a look here on Race on Texas. You watch Spreen going into the corner. McEwen closes the door just a bit. There's the contact into the tractor tire, sending the tractor tire spinning, and then behind him, you've got the Stoy car involved. You've got the 88R involved. It was mayhem there after the contact with Keith Welch going around, as well as the 51C of Zach Larson. But it was going down into the corners. We'd watch the battle back and forth. The best battle on the racetrack tonight has been the 25 of Dylan Budnick and that 58 car of McEwen. But that was a situation right there, two guys going for the same piece of real estate as you had McEwen edging down into the corner and just took that line away from the 81 car of Dylan Spring. Track safety crew working there at turn number three. Hopefully this will be a timely caution. 17 laps remaining as Dustin Root continues to lead. Feel back in line, Spreen is stopped here on the front stretch. Lights will go off this time by as we get set to resume with 17 laps remaining. Dustin Rood is your race leader. Brent Mayfield, or uh, pardon me, Chance Hull rides in the second spot in the 121. He's on the inside of row number two. Here they come making their way around. The field stacks it up. Green flag in the air. 17 laps remaining. We're off and rolling with the pros here at Cotton Bowl Speedway. Into turn number one we go. Budnick way up to the top of the racetrack. Let's see if he can find the grip right there. Three wide out of the corner. Big time crash up in turn number one. Two cars in the fence at turn number one. Looks like you've got the 57 car there involved. Okay, 
Word from the racetrack, both drivers okay at turn number one. Both drivers good at turn number one after that contact. The 70J of James Kane out of Whitney involved. And we will work our way over to turn number one. Back-to-back -back cautions here in the pros. Still showing 17 laps remaining. All right, in line, we will show them one the next time around, 17 laps remaining. Once again, a big thanks to Matco Tools, partnering up with the Dwarf Car Racing Series of Texas, some big contingency prizes on the line tonight. That is courtesy of Matco Tools. Dwayne Groff with a fine job putting this presentation together here this weekend, a two-night show here at Cotton Bowl Speedway. And we're showing them one at the line this time by showing them one right here with Dustin Root up on the point in the 41T. Chance Hull rides on the inside of row number two. On the outside, Dylan Budnick. Inside, Brandon Spreen of row number three. And we've got him in line. Let's see if we can get more than a couple of laps in here on this restart. To the back stretch we go and on the gas is Dustin Rood. We are off and racing. Side by side is the battle for second. Down on the bottom is Chance Hull. Up on the top side is Dylan Budnick. Here we go down the front straightaway. Budnick will go to the second spot. Budnick right up to the top of the racetrack. To the back straightaway we go. Way down on the bottom is Dustin Rood. Look at Dylan Budnick making some major moves up there on the top side of the speedway. Chance Hull hanging on there in the third spot. We've got a car sideways in turn number two. And it's rolling down to the bottom, so it looks like we may be okay. Remember, these cars do not have reverse. That car is freewheeling down to the bottom of the racetrack. Here we go to the back straightaway. It is Dustin Rude hanging on. Rude holds on. Here comes Dylan Budnick. Budnick, a man on a mission right now. Chance Hull right there with him, way to the bottom. Goes the 41T of Dustin Rude as they make their way by. It's 15 laps to go at the line this time by. We are halfway home right there. Halfway home, cross flags up in the air. A little bit of contact there as you got a couple of cars together, but everybody free and clear through turns one and two. Here's Budnick hanging on way up to the top. 
He's dragging Chance Hull with him. Dustin Rude way at the bottom. Down the front straightaway we go, and it is the 121 of Chance Hull. He will take the second spot back. They sail to the top of the racetrack. Budnick's going to try to drive it off the hill to the back straightaway we go. It's two and a half car lengths in between them, but Hull beginning to stretch that out as they make their way into turn number two, or turn number three, pardon me. Here they come out of the corner once again, and we're watching Dustin Rude just down at the bottom of the racetrack just drive away from this pack of fierce competition that we're watching behind him. Here's Coy Moore down on the inside in the 22C. That is the battle that you were checking in right now on All Access. Tip Holcomb out of Colorado Springs. He started 10th, but right now he is sitting right there inside the top five as they make their way around. That is the battle to watch. The 58 car trying to make his way back up. Early leader, that is Cole McEwen. McEwen sits right behind Coy Moore. Back straight away we go. Dustin Root continues to hold on. Followed by Chance Hull, followed by Budnick, the 36 of Holcomb, and now Coy Moore in the 22C. That time by, showing 11 laps remaining. At the line that time by, it continues to be Dustin Rude. He leads by 1.8 seconds on the back straightaway. He'll dive into turn number three. He's going to catch a little bit of lap traffic as we continue to stay green. Here's Chance Hull holding it down on the bottom. Budnick running right behind him. They're going to go side by side once again down into the corner. This is a great battle. Budnick down to the bottom. Way up to the top goes Chance Hull. It's 10 laps to go that time by. This is the battle that we continue to follow. The battle for the second spot. Now into the mess. Here comes Tip Holcomb out of Colorado Springs, Colorado in car number 36. He'll follow the line being laid down there by Dylan Budnick at the bottom of the speedway. Down to the inside. He'll take the spot from Chance Hull. The 36 car is now your third place runner. Let's see if he can get up to the back of Budnick. Watching Holcomb right here. He's about a car length back. Backs out of it just a little bit down into the corner. Almost up to the back bumper. Here comes a 121, a chance hole coming back right at him. That is a three car battle and sitting in the wings right there behind him is Coy Moore in the car number 22C. Moore goes down to the bottom of the racetrack there as well. Watching these four cars, Moore down to the inside. The 121, a chance hole will drift back and now he sits in the fifth spot. as Coy Moore into the top four. All chasing Dustin Rude. Rude beginning to stretch this thing out massively as all of this action happening behind him. Three and a half seconds is the advantage. Dylan Budnick holding on to the second spot. Holcomb rides in the third spot. Holcomb taking a peek up to the top side, but navigating the traffic is Dustin Rude down at the bottom. Rude is doing a great job working at the bottom of the racetrack. He has taken the short way around, but now we're starting to watch him stretch it up into the top lines. Let's go back to the battle for a second. Budnick down on the bottom. Holcomb is there followed by Coy Moore in the 22C. We head to the back straightaway with this second and third place battle. This time by the five finger salute for the 41T of Dustin Rood. It's five laps to go that time by for the race leader. Winner last night on Friday night. Can he duplicate the feat on Saturday night? We saw it happen in the sportsman with Landon Cybri. Did not happen in the veterans, but it's looking like it's gonna happen here in the pros. Here comes your leader out of turn number four. Down at the bottom of the racetrack, he is running those laps down. Four to go at the line for the 41T, the man that is dominated in the state of Texas. He is holding his state pride tonight. The driver out of Danbury, Texas, on to the back straightaway, continuing to lead, expanding that lead to 3.7 seconds. The second place battle. Here's Dylan Budnick trying to get to the bottom as they are getting slowed up by some of the back markers there. Budnick going down to the bottom. Holcomb is going to try to chase him. Those leaders are working down at the bottom. One car off the racetrack on the backside, but we're all good right there. Three laps to go that time by Dustin Rude all by himself and cruise control into turn number three, second and third. Now down the middle of the back straightaway. Now Coy Moore working down on the bottom. Second, third, and fourth had a heck of a time getting through all of that lap traffic. Two sticks in the air that time by for Dustin Rude. Dustin Rude trying to hang on. The battle continuing to heat up here for second as you've got the leaders coming or the second place car coming off of the corner. Budnick held up there a little bit. Here's Holcomb going down to the inside. Holcomb goes down to the inside. Here is the battle for second. White flag in the air for Dustin Rood. Tip Holcomb to the inside. Holcomb on the bottom. Budnick up on the top side. The 171 rides in front of him. That is the 171 car. And now the second place car. That is going to be your battle out of turn number four. Here is your winner, sweeping it. It is the 41T of Dustin Rood winning both nights. Here's the battle on the outside. Tip Holcomb out of turn number four. We'll take the second spot, followed by Budnick and Coy Moore. What a battle for second, third, and fourth.
as they make their way across the start finish line. But it's Tip Holcomb out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, that will take the runner up position. Fantastic action as we watched them in the last 10 laps, having to work through all of that lap traffic. Dustin Rude using up every inch of that racetrack, but does it predominantly down on the bottom of the racetrack, taking the short way around. I talked earlier in the night, was there moisture down on the bottom? Well, there wasn't in that race because Dustin Rude used that bottom groove and punches the ticket and wins here tonight at Cotton Bowl Speedway for the second night in a row. There's second, third, and fourth as they sit down on the front straightaway. Second place out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, the 36 car of Tip Holcomb. The third place car out of Bernie, the 25 of Dylan Budnick. And the fourth place car out of Leander, the 22C of Coy Moore. Here is your winner in the 41T, sweeping it in the pros here at Cotton Bowl Speedway. It's Dustin Rude out of Danbury, taking his ceremonial victory lap here at Cotton Bowl Speedway. All right, here is the 41T as he makes his way around. He's going to burn it up right here on the front straightaway here at Cotton Bowl Speedway. Dustin Rude, the $3,000 winner here tonight at CBS in the Dwarf Car Nationals. It is race number three of the Central States Dwarf Car Association, and it goes to Dustin Rude. He's been the man to beat in Texas. And he holds ground right here in the home state as he gets ready to dive out of the 41T car. He'll come out right out of the hatch as Dwayne Groff right there down with him from the Dwarf Car Racing Series of Texas. Jumping out of the car, out of Danbury, Texas, there is your winner. Sweeping it in the pros. It's Dustin Rude in car number 41T. We'll head down for our on-track interview. It's my man, Cody Alexander. Well, Dustin's got a little bit of a fan group down here. Well, uh, Dustin, you're no stranger to Victory Lane here at CBS. So, uh, man, just tell us about the car and, and, and how it drove tonight around this track. Man, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was going to make some changes. It warned me all the way till I got to the lineup over there. I almost went back to the trailer. I was going to change a couple more things, but went with my gut, went with my chassis builder, and here we are. Well, uh, yeah, that's one thing. You know, you always uh, second-guess yourself, and it paid off tonight. Uh, big $3,000 check to coming to you, but, uh, but these sponsors here, they've given it everything. Who do you want to thank tonight? Well, first off, I want to thank my wife. She's at home with my one-year-old uh, for letting me to travel. I mean, we travel with DCRC all year across Texas. I mean, every weekend it's four or five hours, you know, one way. So ten hours a weekend just from driving. Um, but most off, Wolf Motorsports, Randy Jackson, the car owner, will let you uh, wheel this thing for him, truck field race engine, uh, Angleton Sheet Metal. Uh, Straight Fence Company, Alan Brown Plumbing, uh, my crew, Josh, Bull at Home, uh, Popcorn, my stepdad, and especially all you fans that came out to support this race. Well, what do you say, race fans? Let's give it a big old congratulations to Dustin Rude, the 41T. He's going to head on over to Victory Lane. So if you're with Dustin, let's go ahead and uh, head on over there. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Once again, October Fast in a couple weeks. October 14th and 15th, you can get your tickets at racecbs.com. It's a fun, full weekend full of racing action. We'll see you there.